Hi, I'm Kevin Kari, Product Manager with TIG Solutions. In this brief video, we're going to cover the need-to-know basics of connecting an A-150 and W-250 TIG torch to the power source. We'll cover everything from the connection to the machine to installing the consumables so you're ready to weld. There are a variety of air and water cool torches to meet your welding needs with optional features such as flexible heads and gas valves. The most important decision will be choosing whether you use an air-cooled or water-cooled torch. Air-cooled torches such as the A-150 use ambient air and, and the shielding gas to cool the torch. Air-cooled torches typically are less flexible and larger in size, but they do offer the convenience of portability to move around a job site. Water-cooled torches such as the W-250 require an additional cooling unit to circulate water or coolant through the torch. With that, it dissipates heat much more efficiently, allowing you for a much smaller torch with more flexible cables. Water-cooled torches are available in amperages up to 500 amps, where an air-cooled torch only provides amperages up to 200 amps. First, we're going to show how to connect an A150 TIG torch to a Dynasty 280 power source. Keep in mind, with air and water-cooled connections, there's a variety of options based on the power source. We're going to show you today the most common connection with DINs. Slide the insulating sleeve over the power cable, thread the brass block to the end of the power cable, and tighten with a wrench. Slide the insulating sleeve over the brass block, thread on the side gas hose, and tighten with a wrench. Connect the power cable with DIN's connector to the TIG receptacle and tighten into place. Take the side gas hose and thread it into the gas port Tighten with a wrench. A water-cooled connection is notably different than an air-cooled connection. We're going to show connecting a W250 TIG torch to a Dynasty 200 power source. First you'll notice there are three different connections. First connect the power cable to the TIG receptacle and tighten into place. Next take the side water hose and connect it to the input of the cooler. This hose contains the hot coolant returning from the torch. Please note that water cool connections have left hand threads. Then take the water supply hose and connect it to the output of the cooler. The water supply hose carries cold water and coolant to the torch. This hose also has left hand threads. The final connection is the gas hose. The gas hose threads into the front of the power source. This hose has right handed threads. Please make sure all connections are tightened thoroughly. Now that we've connected our TIG torch to the power source, we're going to get our TIG torch ready to weld. There's a number of required consumables that we need to set up in the torch. Air and water cooled basically use the same parts, so we're going to demonstrate today using an A-150 TIG torch. Keep in mind there's a number of ways to do this, and here's what I recommend. The main component of the torch is the torch body. The torch body holds the other torch parts in place and contains connections to the welding system. First, you place the collet inside the collet body and thread the collet body into the torch. The collet holds the tungsten in place. The purpose of the collet body is to hold the tungsten and the collet. It also has holes through which shielding gas flows. Next, we will thread the back cap a few turns. The back cap of the torch helps protect the tungsten not being used from contamination. There are three different sizes of back caps, long, medium, and short. Thread the nozzle onto the collet body. The nozzle shields the collet body and tungsten and also directs the shielding gas to the weld area. Nozzles come in a variety of sizes. Lastly, insert the tungsten electrode into the collet and collet body. Adjust the tungsten and then tighten the back cap to keep it in place. It is important to tighten the back cap last to prevent the tungsten from slipping. Remember it is important that you assemble your torch finger tight so you don't damage your TIG torch or your consumables. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please visit MillerWelds.com backslash TIG torches for additional information regarding selecting TIG torches and accessories. Thanks and have a great day.